I came to announce that stronger than the union between a man and a woman is the union between the Holy Spirit and the human spirit. And what it produces is regeneration. This is Burning Coals with a person to Luagola. The unregenerated man is a threefold man. His possibilities are built only into three dimensions. He can operate from his body, he can operate from his soul, he can operate from his spirit. The regenerated man is a fourfold man. So even if I don't have money in my pocket, you can't compare me to an unregenerated person. I will only be comparable if I do not operate in the acknowledgement that I am fourfold. Because the regenerated man is body, is soul, is human spirit, and then the Holy Ghost. His strength is drawn from that marital union. My wife used to have a surname, but she will not need that surname again. There are too many certificates now. There are too many documents that have undone that surname. Because she's now an Abola, there are many things privileges and I know experiences that she comes into because she agreed to become an Abola I came to announce that stronger than the union between a man and a woman is the union between the Holy Spirit and the human spirit and what it produces is regeneration the reason why some people may be eating so much and may never be chubby is that your possibilities were defined at gene level. You'll be fresh, old, but you'll be slim. Because what they program for you from gene is slim. To eat and be productive, may God give you understanding, you will need to experience what you call a regeneration. We need to disorganize and rearrange and when new patterns are formed with them comes new possibilities sometimes what a genetic engineer will do is to take out particular things and replace them with other things so that that species becomes a new species to be studied so scripture says if any man be in christ he is a new creature the process that produces the new creature is the process of regeneration if you put certain things to a man who is regenerated he's supposed to be immune to certain experiences certain expressions and it is built into what has happened Regenerate all these things I'm calling regeneration, they are byproducts of the Lordship of Jesus. That when He comes so that He can be comfortable as Lord, He disorganizes, He removes, He replaces, and you are new. So that if we're hacking to the shape of your spirit, the shape of your spirit, if you are saved, is not in doubt. Your genes have been exchanged. It's a truth that heaven knows. If your human spirit has a voice that is separate from your natural voice, your human spirit will say that it is not at variance with Jesus. It acknowledges his lordship. Because your human spirit, after that first choice, is not functioning by decisions. It's functioning by a new arrangement. Are you with me? That's the strength of the lordship of jesus it's a new arrangement it has been aligned to be in permanent acknowledgement i've said it many times we don't come to church to teach our spirit how to submit to jesus your spirit is not at variance with him because the protocol by which your spirit achieves alignment with jesus is not education is what regeneration it is a daunting in the spirit so i said they teach us that you have been saved it means finality has come to the shape of the spirit all that the spirit needs to do now in the spiritual environment is to exercise itself because it has tools it can become more muscular so that it can further express so that it can do a lot more things but your spirit is not learning how to be a Christian. That 
acknowledgement has sorted your spirit. The church is teaching influence, is teach, teaching societal transformation. Unfortunately, God's tool must have perfected a kind of existence before it is sent to represent God. Every time you, represent, you present an unfinished man to represent you, what that man advertises is imperfection. We will not really be able to know really or me what God looks like. You have been with us all along. It's just recently I've started saying, you know, you're going to uncover that meeting. It's because I believe that in your morphing, you have morphed into a place. I do expect that when you pray for people and the power of God breaks out, you now say, you know, this power came at a cost. So if you, if you fell and you don't want your fall to be empty, you will drop 20k. If you do that thing, you will not come back here again. It's from there that we will send you forth. It means that you have not morphed enough to be able to advertise that this is what we look like. How much more God? There is an urgency in God to send men, but that urgency has not produced haste to skip processes. If all that we merchandise is the lordship of Jesus in our spirits, our environment will keep showing brokenness. The structures will be down. There are changes we cannot bring if we don't become a kind of people. So, God wants to begin from our spirit and then he begins to journey Outward. This is Burnet Coles with Apostle Tuluagola.